In this video, we'll show you how dry blood spots are analyzed for the concentration of immune suppressant drugs in your blood. When your sample arrives, the technician will first check whether the dry blood spots were sampled correctly. Next, important data such as the time when you last took your drug are entered into the system. By applying labels, the test form and your sample will be coupled to a unique serial number. In this way, it will always be clear which sample belongs to which patient and therefore will be able to avoid mix-ups. Following registration of your samples, the analysis itself will start. To prevent any mix-ups from happening, the technician first double-checks whether the correct samples were selected for today's analysis. After this, the technician readies the test tube. Next, he takes out a dried blood spot card from the holder and puts it in a specialized type of paper puncher. This paper puncher cuts out the dried blood spot, which then automatically drops into the test tube. To this test tube, fluids are added in order for the drug to dissolve from the dried blood spot. The test tube is then shaken vigorously in order for the fluids to mix well with the dry blood spot. Following this, the test tube is centrifuged to separate the fluid from the dry blood spot again. The fluid in which the drug is now dissolved is transferred to a sample tube. The sample tube is capped with a lid and is now ready to be analyzed. The sample tubes are placed into the analyzer by the technician. Through an automated needle, fluid is taken from the sample tube and injected into the analyzer. With the results from the analyzer, the amount of drug in your blood is calculated. This, in turn, will inform your physician and pharmacist whether your current medication is working well or whether your dose needs an adjustment.